Billy Tatum. So at Comic-Con, Marvel fans were taken back by the amount of cameos that were going to be in the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. And I mean, the last person I expected to be a giant Marvel fan is Magic Mike, Channing Tatum. I'm a huge Gambit fan. Uh, it's, the, it's the only real comic that I own. Always giving orders. Making up for your screw-ups, gumbo. So that's right, Channing Tatum playing Gambit in the new Deadpool and Wolverine. And th the whole thing's been spooled, guys. I seen one guy kind of pissed in my last video. As if the internet hasn't been talking about this for weeks and the movie's been out for a few days now but yeah deadpool is seriously upping the bar of multiverse movies definitely rivaling with no way home so anyway back when ryan reynolds was actually introduced as deadpool in x-men origins wolverine they also introduced gambit who is played by taylor kitsch now channing also starred as duke in the gi joe movies and while G.I. Joe comes second to Gambit. I've watched G.I. Joe's growing up, and, and so that's that was cool too, but Gambit's where it's at. I... Now, some of the fans weren't exactly happy about Gambit's role in the X-Men Origins, but Channing Tatum really wanted this to happen. I, I'm dying to do it. Uh, I've been pretty vocal about wanting to do that part. Uh, it's what I've grown up with. I grew up in, in, the, you know, in Louisiana and, and Mississippi, and just the South in general, and, and uh, He's my favorite X-Men. I think he's like the most real of all of them. You know, he's he's a thief. He's, he's not even a, a hero. It's like he's a good. He's not a good guy. And, and now, since X-Men Origins, Ryan Reynolds was trying to get his vision of Deadpool made after 11 years, and eventually it ended up happening. And the movie was received so well. This movie really shook up the whole Marvel brand, you know, breaking the fourth wall, making a lot of comedy out of a movie that's usually more on the serious side. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. And while Channing Tatum was there to witness this whole thing unfold, Channing Tatum taking to his Instagram to post, saying these pictures are almost 10 years apart to the day. I sat in the audience when Ryan showed his first peek of Deadpool 1 to the world, and I think I ran backstage right after and found him, and I think I just hugged him and was like, holy shit, you did it, man. It's perfect. I didn't know him really at all back then. And then obviously we got Deadpool 2, which was arguably just as good as the first. So Channing Tatum's quest to bring the Marvel icon to life hit a roller coaster of development hell, studio shakeups, and in the end, a gut wrenching cancellation. Saying, Once Gambit went away, I was so traumatized. I shut off my Marvel machine. I haven't been able to see any of the movies. I love the character. It was too sad. It was like losing a friend because I was so ready to play with him. So the third Deadpool movie was put on hold for a while after Disney was buying Fox. And there was so much excitement as Hugh Jackman was retiring from Wolverine, but then came back. And well, Ryan making Channing's dream come true as playing Gambit. Channing taking to his Instagram to say, I can say that there's almost no one that has had my back in this industry more than Ryan. I thought I had lost Gambit forever, but he fought for me and Gambit. I will owe him probably forever because I'm not sure how I could ever do something that would be equal to what this has meant to me. I love you, buddy. Sean Levy as well. Truly such a brilliant creator on every single single level. All things happen for a reason. I'm so grateful to be in this movie. It's a masterpiece in my opinion. And just pure badass joy. I was literally screaming in the theater. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Now it's really crazy, as like a casual Marvel fan, I didn't even know behind the scenes Channing was trying to make this happen. It's cool to do the news because then you learn stuff yourself. It's really fascinating, but it's also really sad to see all the hurdles they have to go through to actually make a character work. From an outsider's perspective, it just seems like a movie production going, oh, let's grab Channing Tatum and just put him in. I didn't realize how many years were dedicated to this working. Now the adaptation is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I feel like they definitely could have did a little bit more, maybe, to Channing's face. I mean, Channing obviously has more of a rounded face. I mean, women out here know how to do crazy makeup these days. They know how to make it look like your jaws popping out, your cheeks are just squished in, and you know, maybe have the hair popping out a little bit more. But regardless, it's still really cool. So yeah, shout out to Ryan Reynolds. The guy makes magic. Let me know what you guys think about this story in those comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys know the drill. Ta-ta for now. Really?